Hello all, my name is Krish Nayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, today in this particular video, I'm going to talk about some of the important frameworks that you should definitely learn in order to build AI agents and agentic AI application. As you all know, recently the buzz, the talk is all about AI agents, many bigger companies, right? They are building their own AI agents so that they can automate most of the task. You know that MCP is there, Google A2A agents are there, right? And because of that, now companies are focusing on building the agents and probably they will be providing as a feature which can be integrated in any kind of application. The best part about this AI agents or agentic AI application is that you will be able to solve some complex workflows without much human intervention, right? So in this particular video, I will be talking about this specific, uh, specific framework so that if you are looking for job in this specific uh, industry, definitely if you are targeting the role of becoming an agentic AI engineer, if you want to definitely work in this domain, I would suggest please go through these particular frameworks. My main focus will be to showcase all the open source framework, not paid framework itself, okay? So that you will be able to start building your applications. Now quickly, I will go ahead and share my screen. Now before I go ahead guys, there's a quick announcement. We are coming up with this amazing batch of 2.0 live agentic AI and Gen AI with MCP and Cloud Bootcamp. The cloud that we are going to cover is uh, M, uh, AWS. And this is probably starting from May 10th, 2025. And the classes timing will be from between 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. 11 a.m. IST every Saturday and Sunday. And the best part will be that you can also see all the features that we are providing. The dashboard access will be for 1.5 years, community chat forum, live doubt clearing after sessions, hackathon rewards, resume discussion, and mock interview, right? If you have any queries, please do call our counseling team. The cost for this particular course is 6,000. I think hardly now only five days are left, okay? Five to six days are left. So definitely, if you are interested to probably learn about Agentic AI, I would suggest go ahead with this specific course, okay? Now let's go ahead and talk about the first framework that is super important. It is nothing but LangChain, right? I've seen in the internet that many people say that, hey, LangChain is not good for production deployment. Initially, when LangChain was there, right, there were a lot of updates that were happening. There were packages movement from one, one, one specific package to the other package. There were functionality movements. And because of that, what happened is that they were saying that LangChain was not that stable. But now I think LangChain is much more stable for building any kind of application. The best part of the LangChain is that if you just go to the documentation here, it has so many different things, right? This is the entire ecosystem of the LangChain from LangGraph platform to integration, LangChain, LangGraph, we'll talk about LangGraph also, LangSmith for debugging, for playing, doing annotation, testing, monitoring, everything you can actually do it. Not only this, if I talk about LangChain, there are a lot of different, different integrations for every kind of model, Google Vertex AI, OpenAI, Google Community, AWS, Anthropic, any kind of LLM models that you specifically want, right? Not only that, there are some very good things like retrievers, there are tools, there are document loaders, you know. So these are kind of functionalities. Like let's say you want to read it from CSV file, you want to read it from a web-based loader, uh, web-based files, you can, if you want to read it directly from a PDF file, right? So all those kind of toolkits is also provided over here. Not only that, it has integration of various vector stores, right? You have different, different embedding models, OpenAI, Azure, Google, AWS, Olama, Cohere, Mr. AI, everything, NVIDIA, Right? So it is one of the most important framework right now, all the developers are specifically using. So I would always suggest go ahead with learning LangChain first. Okay. Why not other libraries? But because of this, you'll be able to understand a very good hands-on experience with developing generative AI application or agentic AI application itself. Now, the next thing is that if you see over here, there is also something called as LangGraph. Now you need to understand why LangGraph came over here, right? If LangChain was there, why did they bring LangGraph? When we talk about AI agents, when we talk about autonomous AI, intelligent autonomous AI assistants, when we talk about, let's say that you want to probably build complex workflows. If you want to build agentic AI systems, right? At that point of time, you can definitely use LangGraph because LangGraph uses something called as directed acyclic graph. So based on that particular graph, you can go ahead and execute every node. So here, everything is basically executed in the form of nodes, right? So this is a kind of state graph here. You'll be able to see 
every node is segregated the functionality is very much written in a very easy way if you're following my lang graph playlist you should be definitely able to understand this right and because of this you are able to build some efficient agentic ai application in this and the best part is that along with this lang graph you can also integrate any functionalities that is probably coming from the lang chain the best important feature about lang graph is that it provides granular level of changes you can also do amazing granular level of changes not only from basic applications like chatbot you can implement rag you can implement agentic rag you can implement different kinds of rag and those rags are really really important because those are derived from ai assistant that basically means here you will be focusing on creating agents right not only agentic ai you will be creating independent agents so every chatbot that is basically created over here this can act as an agent and if you are creating an agent efficiently that can autonomously take multiple decisions in order to solve a complex workflow right so that is why it is so amazing right so if you probably go ahead and see tutorials right if i go ahead and show you adaptive rag okay or if i show you corrective rag right you can see over here this kind of executions you will be able to do right so if i uh, over here the graph is not done but i'll show you some of the graphs that i have created right so this was one of the graph that i was working on right just imagine this is a very complex workflow and this is being executed directly by lang graph and this is basically called as an adaptive rag right so many different different functionalities right and here human intervention is not happening independently the ai agents are able to perform this task right no decision is basically triggered by human over here. only the query is given by the human everything autonomously is done by the ai agents that is the most amazing thing over here so my suggestion would be that please go ahead and learn about lang graph lang graph is super important and already i have started a series or playlist in my channel which you can just go ahead and see it step by step we have done that and we have implemented till tools more videos are basically going to come over there now coming to the next one right when we talk about this two frameworks are very important always start with this okay coming to the third framework it is nothing but it is called as agno so initially if you remember agno was something called as phi data right but now agno uh, they have changed the name from phi data to agno for branding purpose and the most easiest way to create any agent is basically with the help of agno why i have selected this as my second one after lang graph because here also it provides every model access see different kind of model integration you can basically do not it does not provide access <laughs> for access you definitely need the api key from there but the integration side it can easily do it right not only that it also has tools different different tools human in the loop mcp see mcp is also included over here that is the best part and now you can just go ahead and run this particular or integrate this application with the mcp also right then you have reasoning then you have memory then you have knowledge chunking vector db so all those functionalities are available as how we had with lang graph and right now according according to their saying the agno platform who have developed right they're saying that this is the most fastest way of initializing and creating an ai agent right so that basically means it is much faster when compared to how we create agents in lang graph right so definitely go ahead and check out it is very simple you just need to go ahead and use this particular code if you want to convert this into an end to end application you should definitely go ahead and use any kind of frameworks like fast api streamlit and all okay after agno the third framework that you can refer is something called as crew ai right now crew ai also has integration things with respect to lang graph with respect to all the other libraries and all and this is also one of the most very good uh, frameworks that i have actually worked on so here you can see create your crew define task kick off that's it that is how simple it is and you can probably refer multiple videos out here you can refer different different uh, use cases like how they have actually developed see for sales uh, they are communicating with so many different different tools for marketing here you can see different examples are there for analytics you can see different examples are there at the end of the day here also you are creating some complex workflows and you are solving them right so definitely go ahead and check it out this uh it is again open source you can go ahead and refer this you can just write pip install crew ai and can start working on it okay now coming to the next one uh and this one is like many people had also asked from no code platform right 
people are asking for no code platform crash we are highly experienced people and we really want to develop this kind of workflows but we don't want to write much line of code so in that particular scenario you can refer this no code platform which is called as n8n now with respect to n8n here you will be able to see that just by drag and drop you will be able to create the entire workflow you will be able to create the ai agents not only that you will be also able to do multiple integrations see so many different integrations are there http rec uh, request google sheet telegram send mail mysql postgres sql notion google drive google calendar github microsoft sql like i think most of the integrations that we specifically require in order to solve our problem statement everything is over here right and once you are able to connect it right just imagine then any kind of workflows you will be able to define it in a very easy way right so definitely go ahead and check out see plug ai into your own data with over 400 integration recently in my linkedin also i have probably shown a use case which one of our students have actually developed he automated the entire sales of my krishna academy uh, platform itself right and that is the most amazing thing here you can also integrate eleven labs you can integrate eleven labs for the ai voice each and everything right so definitely go ahead and check this out right so n8n is the another framework that you should definitely refer to now if you want one more code non no coding platform then you can also refer to langflow now the best part is that guys i've created tutorials on langchain langgraph i've created tutorials on agno i've created tutorials on creo ai i need to create tutorials on n8n which i will do it and i have also created tutorials on langflow so langflow is also a no code tool platform which will actually help you to create ai agents in a much more easy way in short you can also develop an agentic ai application where multiple ai agents are also communicating with each other right so in short these are the most famous frameworks that you should definitely refer okay and you should learn in this particular manner so that your learning becomes very much good when i talk about langgraph here you will be able to develop more granular level workflows you will be able to make those kind of changes when you go towards agno here quickly you are able to create an agent you are able to make sure to create a workflow where an agent communicates with each other then similarly you have creo ai similarly you have n8n and langflow right so i hope you like this particular video this was it from my side i'll see you in the next video have a great day ahead thank you one all take care bye bye